Praise be unto our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Glory to His name. For there is no other name given unto man by which we must might be saved, can be saved, will be saved. But I was just sitting here thinking, and I was thinking about how come the homosexuals seem to be so bitter toward God, and God opened my eyes to something I never looked at. It. But you know, when you're a man living in sin or a person living in sin, and that spirit of God dwells around you, and then it, the conscience you have when you know that you're doing something wrong. It's the Spirit of God telling you. Well, once you're turned over totally to a reprobate mind, and you believe a lie and are damned, then the spirit of Satan comes into you, and the hatred that Satan has toward God is projected from you. So that just brings more hate. Because, see, there's no love in Satan. Uh, all you people out there are fooled by that, thinking that Satan's going to change this world and there's going to be love here. You fooled yourself. There was no love in Satan, only hate, only deceit. But I just want to sing praises to God because, see, there's still some of us that still love the Lord. Hallelujah be to His name. Lord, hallelujah. Lift up the name of the Jesus Christ. He is the Savior of mankind. That name is not being said enough in this America. America turned back to Christ. You know, the Bible says in the beginning in John 1 and 1, I think it's 1 John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the same was in the beginning. It was not nothing made that He did not make. You see, when God spoke the Word, Christ went out and performed. And when God said it's time to give Him a Savior, put on an earthly robe and walked just like us among man. And this world was made by him and when he walked upon it they hated him. Except for those that was looking for something and know there was something more to life. And they, you know, apparently he had multitudes of people when he preached. But if you want to call it preaching, mainly just sat and talked about God, His Father, and what He really meant for the world to be, and how it should have been, and how man come in and corrupted it, and, well, Satan come in and corrupted man. See, that battle's been going on since eternity. So just, just lift up the name of Jesus, and remember, God loves you. Turn from your sin. Accept Him. Before it's too late, because I'm telling you, it's not going to be long that we're going to be looking up. And we're going to see Him coming in the clouds of glory. Hallelujah. And then all them doubters and all them unbelievers are going to say, Oh God, what can I do? Oh, hide us from the face of Him, from the One who made this world. They're going to be going to cry out, Hide your, from the, hide your face from Him. Because you've been deceived. And remember, God loves you. He loves you so much. They hung on a cross and died in your place so that you could one day too live in eternity with what this world was meant to be. God bless you and turn to Jesus before it's too late is my prayer.